work, 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 work. You see me everywhere, work, 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 work. You see me do me there, 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 there. And so me better work, 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 work. When you walk out, la, 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 la. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this look right here. This is like my signature smoky eye. I know there's different variations of smoky eyes and I do different types too, but this is like my go-to that I do all the time and it was requested. I'm just going to get started with the video and I hope you guys enjoy. So I just did primer, foundation, concealer, and my brows. So right now I'm just going to take my Revlon Photo Ready Face Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light to set my eyelids, basically. Um, we are going to be putting gel liner on the eye to we'll set underneath as well, I guess, even though I'm going to be putting more concealer probably. Um, we're going to be putting gel liner on the lid, sorry about the train, to act as a base for our black color, but it's still really good to set the eyelid after you put concealer or primer um, for the other colors. That'll help them stay better. And then I'm just going to be putting this in the crease. And the outer corner. And then I'm just putting this color in the crease, but a little bit lower. I'm not, I'm trying not to bring it up as high. And if it's on the lid, that's okay. Just blending it up a little bit, but not a lot. You really want to get this underneath because we're trying to make a gradient. So that way it doesn't just look like you have a black circle on your eye. You really want it to be gradient and smoke out. Now I'm just going to be taking my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and the BH Cosmetics number seven flat shader brush. This one's like really fat. And I'm literally just sticking it in here, all in there. Get as much as I can. And I'm going to start putting this on my lid. I gotta bring the mirror a little closer to me. Now this is really important. The first couple of times I did this, I didn't realize. You really wanna get it on and leave no patches or like little streak marks. You really wanna like draw out the shape too. That you want. Don't go too much in the inner corner. I'm kinda just lightly going like, so it almost looks like faded in that inner corner because you don't want it to look super dark there. And I'm just going to draw out the shape that I want. And bring it up a little bit higher in the outer corner. Just like that. And I'll do the same thing to the other eye. Really trying hard to like get the same shape. Um, this eyelid is bigger than this one. Um, everybody's eyes, ears, everything, nostrils are, one's bigger than the other, one's a different shape than the other, so it was the same shape, but this one definitely has a bigger eyelid, so I just have to be pretty careful. Just like that. I did put a little bit more, but it kind of does look even, so it's fine. I'm not gonna stress too much about it. I'm going to be doing like an updated vlog soon on like everything going on in my life, because Everything is super crazy right now. I just got um, a real job um, in the cosmetology field and I still nanny one day a week and um, it's spring musical season. So the past two weeks I've been doing dress rehearsals and like shows for spring musicals and just plays. And I basically just wanna hide under a rock and sleep for two weeks um, because I'm so freaking tired. So, <laughs> I got up at 6 this morning to film this, and it's now 7.46, and I have to be somewhere at 8, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we're just taking the color Black Market from the Naked Smoky palette, and I'm just going to be applying that all over where we put the black gel liner to basically set it, because you can already see it's creasing a little bit, which is okay, like we're going to be blending out colors and you probably won't see it as much. And I'm not putting it just on like where 
we put it, I'm also putting a little bit above. So that way it makes it a little bit easier to blend out and you know, create that gradient effect. And we'll be going over that again at the end. You really wanna make sure that sets because you don't want that creasing throughout the day. Now taking this shade, I'm just going to be blending everything out as much as I can because it is a, doc uh, a, a doctor, a darker brown. And I am getting it on that black and then blending it out. Just so it's not a harsh line. It doesn't have to be perfectly gradient either. I just don't like it when it's a harsh line. Because that black will fade up a little bit and it won't look so harsh. Like you can already tell the difference. This will be cleaned up in the end too, like don't worry. Um, I do my face and concealer first for the sake of the video, but then I go in with the Maybelline Master Prime Concealer or Master Conceal and I kind of just put that because I feel like it's a little bit more full coverage than my other one. This one kind of just gives me a base and I really need to conceal in my inner corners first before I put on eyeshadow because that's why I have really dark circles. Kind of like circular motions too will help. And really just buff out that harsh line. See, it looks higher because this eyelid is smaller, so I'm just going to take a little bit of black and blend that in as well. Not too much. But just so it looks even, kind of. And then cleaning off that brush as best as I can, I'm just going to blend out this side so it doesn't look so harsh. Just like that. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back in with Black Market again and just set that eyelid one more time. And one more time with a clean brush, just blend so you don't have a line. I'm just going to be taking this matte white shade and putting it underneath the brow bone. It's okay if it creates that sharp line, all you have to do is go back in and just blend a tiny bit, just making sure you don't blend it too high. You always want to do that with the brow bone. And then I'm going to just bring it down a little bit over here so it's not so dark in that inner corner. Now taking the Maybelline Master, I literally just dab this on my fingers. And I put that all underneath. Kind of wiping this. And I'll blend that out and clean that up better when I blend it with the Beauty Blender, but that's just basically what I do. I let that sit for like a couple of seconds, so I'm just going to clean up my little spot and then we'll finish up. Okay, so I'm just going to, because I don't have time, I'm blending this out now. When I get over here, you just got to kind of clean it up. It's really not that big of a deal. I don't want it to look too sharp, but I definitely don't want it to look as cray cray as it did. Now we're going to set that under, that under eye really, really well. And because I didn't set the rest of the face because we we're adding more powder, I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Mary Kay face powder. I really have to like set down my face now because for some reason Amanda pointed it out the other day when I was with her 
when we went to the Jesse James Decker concert. For some reason, I'm getting like a line here of no makeup all the time. And I think it's because my skin is like acting weird, like with oily patches and dry patches and under here is always, I'm always like sweating and stuff. I have no idea why. So I'm just mixing the colors Dirty Sweet and Radar and I'm gonna be putting those on the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to be taking the color Black Market and very, very like thin kind of lining my lower lash line. I don't really like to smoke it out too much. So I'll just be taking that just like that. Sometimes um, I'll do like a pop of color on the bottom and put a color and then use like a gel eyeliner that's a color or something just to like brighten up the look or do something different. But for today, we're just going to do my like classic smoky eye. And then I just take the brush that we like set underneath my eyes and I kind of just buff that out. So it's not super sharp. And then the last thing I'm going to do for my eyes is put on some fake lashes. I'll be using the Ardell Demi Wispies. So now that I have my lashes on, I did a little bit of contour, blush, and highlight. Um, and I'll just show you what I used because I kind of wanted to like cut it out. And you know, I could do a separate contouring video another time. And obviously I, can't, I can never stay in the frame when I do my lashes. But basically what I used for contouring was the City Color Contour Effects Palette. And I've been using the contour shade, not the bronze shade, even though it is a little bit dark because it kind of has a cool undertone to it. And if you use something with more of a warm undertone, it'll kind of look like an envelope. Depending on your skin tone and then the blush that I use I am obsessed with these cream blushes from Maybelline It's the Maybelline dream bouncy blush in the color hot tamale and then my highlight was from this NYX butt naked underneath it all palette I love this palette and I just used I'll point to it because they don't have names they have numbers this middle highlight color right here It's like really really pretty like a gold kind of Highlight. So I use that as well just to kind of tie in the gold in the inner corner of the eye And now moving on to the last thing which is the lips when I'm doing a smoky eye I either like to have really uh, Nude lips or kind of a pinkish lip. So mauve is kind of in between So I'm going to be lining my lips with the NYX lip liner in the color vanilla sky And then we're going to be applying the NYX matte lipstick in the color couture I'm never in the frame. I am the queen of not being in the frame and not realizing it. Alright guys, so that is the finished look. This is my signature smoky eye that I do. I do different variations of smoky eyes too. This is just like my darkest kind of go-to because I've gotten it down and I can do it so well I think that I kind of just do this. It's just really important to blend and be patient and you know just practice because it took me a really long time to get you know this smoky eye to be where it is right now. I will insert um, you know a clip of the original video where I was wearing the smoky and that was the first time I did it um, and I hate the way it looks back then and I know it was requested but this is how I do it now. Um, I've definitely found better ways to do it. What looks better on me um, and stuff like that. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and comment what you thought and any requests down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.